For Sean Porter, the Clevelander turned Las Vegas. First of all, man, to have this fight here in Las Vegas, last time you fought Spence, it was in L.A. I mean, you haven't had, like, the, a really, really big fight here in Vegas in a while, man. What does it mean to be home? The biggest fight that I could have right here in Las Vegas. I haven't fought here since 2015, and this, believe it or not, will only be my third fight here since moving here in 2013. It is what it is, man. Uh, I'm glad that the uh, Errol Spence fight happened at the Staples. That was amazing. And now to come here and to be here at the Mandalay ESPN Plus app, man, I love it all. I got you. Love it all. I, I wonder about this, man. Terrence talks about, like, he respects you, he respects your game. Do you really feel like he it, it respects you as a boxer and is not overlooking you, just kind of saying it just to be saying it? No, uh, you know what? Uh, it, 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 it's actually two. I think, number one, he respects me, but number two, he he has minimal respect for any <laughs> for anybody. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I respect you, but... But that and that but is way bigger than the respect. So kind of is what it is, you know. On the other side of that, yes, I respect uh, Terrence, but I'm, I, I have a job to do. We both have jobs to do, and the world's gonna benefit from it. Ah, uh, yes, the world is gonna benefit from it. I know you've been asked this a ton, and it's almost over now. But the fact that I mean, you've been carrying this promotion the whole time, the whole time, the whole time. Does that kind of weigh on you a little bit? I had something for y'all, man, and I wasn't able to pull it off. Um, but uh, I, I, nah, we can't do it because my son not here. But I had my son come up, and I just thought that we was gonna have a moment to really, you know, uh, lay lay it down for the for the for TV for for everybody in here. wasn't able to do that. I enjoy what I do. This is a part of it. Some fighters don't really get that or understand that. And uh, you know, I'm at a point now in my career where I want the best. I want all eyes on me on fight night, and that meant doing a little bit more. And I was able to do that, and now it's fight time. And lastly, speaking of doing a little bit more, when did it? When did you kind of transition to doing a little bit more like yeah. this, brother? I mean, come on yeah. now, come on. This what do we got here? This is just crazy. I, today I got uh, got custom made shoes actually, and uh, kind of is what it is, man. Um, uh, long story short, I couldn't afford this when I was younger, of course, and uh, for whatever reason, when I started making money, some money, my thing wasn't going out and getting cars. It wasn't about finding a big house. My some said. Go get you a suit. And uh, that led me to uh, getting with my uh, tailor. And now everything we do is tailor-made. It's made to fit me. And uh, we're coming out with the uh, the Port Away suit, suit collection uh, next year, next spring. So um, all of this will be available to any and everyone. Um, more, more than likely geared towards athletes because we have the hardest time finding things that fit us. So. Um, and then um, we're going to try to make the bill easy for for everybody, but the bill might, you know, the, the athletes and, you know, entertainers, they definitely can afford that bill. So You think a local sports caster can get a, get a sponsorship for or something? For you, man, I got you. <laughs> this one bad right here. I appreciate this that. This one bad. I, I so. appreciate you. They treat you differently when you look like that, man. Yeah, they do. They do. Right? They do. Okay. Everybody does. Uh, yeah, yeah. My yeah. man, I, I appreciate you, Sean. Thank you, brother, man.